we're going to have a look at outline view. You will be familiar with the principle that Microsoft Word has got a range of different views that you can work in. Most common is print layout and probably the second most common is normal. The layout that we want to look at today is the outline view. Before I switch into that though, in print layout I just want to show you what the document is. It's a fairly straightforward document with a main heading and you'll notice that it's a heading style. It's a pre-created style called a bold heading. We've then got a series of subheadings, each with a heading 2 style, and normal text with body text as the style. So we'll scroll through, we've got a subheading, heading 2, normal text, body text. When you're working in outline view, you will understand why it's important to be consistent with your stylings. Heading 2, body text. And if I switch on the show hide, you'll see there isn't a spare enter key press anywhere. It's all very, very formulated using the styles. OK. Let's switch to outline view. So I'll just scroll down the document to show you what it looks like. So substantially different to the main print layout view. And remember, this is only a view. We haven't changed anything. When we are in outline view, we have a new toolbar to work with. If that hasn't appeared, of course, you can switch it on using view and toolbars and look for the outlining toolbar. The principle of this layout is that it is governed by the level of the text. Now you'll remember when we were working with styles that each style had its own level associated with it. For example, we had heading 1, which is a level 1 style, heading 2, which was a level 2 style. And outlining view uses that principle of levels. So if you remember I said black gold was bold heading, that has been set up as a level 1 outline level. The subheadings, which were heading 2, are level 2 outline levels. And the text doesn't have that level associated with it. Scroll down, subtitle, level 2. Scroll down, subtitle, level 2. If you like, it's showing the structure of the document. And what we can do using the toolbar is summarise the document to see only certain parts of it. For example, if I just show level 1, it shows only the level 1 headings. If I show level 2, it will show the level 1 headings and the level 2 headings. One of the reasons we use Outlining View is to make quick amendments to our document. For example, why compost is a level 2. If we decide that really that should be at the same level as the main heading, we can promote it using these icons here to promote and demote. So I can promote it to a level 1 styling. You see it's altered it to level 1 and it's given it a heading 1 style. I can demote it. It's now become a level 3 document uh, heading and a level 4 heading. Put it back to a level 2. So we can, if you remember when we were working with outline numbering, this is in exactly the same principle. You are indenting the level of the text to give your document a better structure. Let's just switch the document to show all levels. That's when you can see the text as well. 
just remember this text we've got our subheading y compost and we've got the text associated with that subheading underneath nothing warms a gardener's heart i'm now going to choose just level two one of the advantages of this system is that we can move the items very easily this subheading y compost i can move very quickly just by using the move up and down arrows so i can use i can move that whole section it won't just take the heading it'll take all the associated text with it and it will move it down the list remember my compost if i show all the levels now we can see that's been moved down the document including all the associated text and remember this is just a view so these changes that we've made by moving this level down this this sub paragraph down it's really been affected on the document if I switch back to print layout you can see there's why compost with nothing's warmer than a gardener's heart it's now halfway down the document it's no longer the first document the first paragraph so that's outline view we use view and outline when we are in outline view we can alter the level of the heading we can promote and demote the level we can move the various sections up and down just by selecting that section and we can view different levels of the document to make it easier to work so I'm just going to move compassing do's and don'ts up to the top wrong way up to the top conversion to a level one style oops just undo that and switch back into print layout and we can see that section is now at the top the outline view